Hi, everybody. Oh, it's still a hot day today, but it's cooling off. But you gotta be careful with the heat because you get your stomach can get upset, you get dizzy. Always make sure you don't feel like drink a lot of water. Well, today we're making rich butter cookies. Grandma used to make butter cookies all the time. She actually used to roll out the dough, but I'm, the recipe went with We have to dig up that recipe. So I'm putting in a whole stick of butter. Okay, we're gonna cream this with the vanilla. Okay, vanilla extract. It's really good. It's rich buttery cookies, I call them. Excuse me, folks. This thing has a habit of coming out. You know what? We might have to just use one. Let's see what happens. <clears throat> Plug this in. We're going to also put in two thirds cup of granulated sugar. Sometimes, for no unknown reason, it just doesn't want to go in, and we have to figure out what the trouble is. We'll figure it out later. This is just this will take one right now. I want to do now is I want to add in two fresh farm eggs, okay? I'm not adding in two fresh farm eggs that we fix the beetle. Sometimes these things just fall out. Either you put it in not too tight, it just has a habit of doing that. So it's not a big deal. I fixed it. Okay, now let's hope this works. I know, you just never know. All right. Always use parchment paper when you bake anything. I'm now adding in one and one half cups of all purpose flour. And then we're going to add that into the uh, butter mixture. Okay. Now we're adding in one half teaspoon of salt. That's absolutely mandatory when you make any kind of cookies at all. The salt gives it flavor. Okay, we're going to whisk this together. And slowly drop it into the butter mixture. We're going to have a really good dough. Mix it slowly. getting too thick, we don't want to take a chance and agitate the poor mix master. I'm going to mix this together and make sure all the flour is out. You can still see some flour left and you've got to get rid of all that flour mixture. Then we're going to drop it with a tablespoon or a teaspoon. Okay. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab some of the butter. There goes the oven. It's ready to cook. I'm going to use a fork to press these guys down. As we can see, we're going to have to flour the fork. It's really odd when you bake anything at all, 
you almost have to flour everything so it doesn't stick. See what I mean? It's not sticking as much. I want to push these babies down a little bit, okay? They will spread, all right? See, it's sticking to the fork again. We don't want that, so we're going to have to add some more flour to it. There we go. Okay, we don't have to do it. It keeps pulling apart. That's the problem. All right, push it down. There we go. Use my palm to hit my hand also. All right, get off me, you little devil. Okay. All right. All right, what we're going to do now is we're going to put this in the oven and bake it for about five to six minutes until they're golden brown, okay? And we, should, we will have very fancy butter cookies. They're going to be rich. I'm telling you, they're very rich butter cookies. And here we have homemade rich butter cookies. You know, a friend of mine told me use parchment paper. So that's what we're doing, is parchment paper. So what we're going to do, do is, this is how beautiful they came out, see? Beautiful butter cookies. Oh, look how beautiful that is. Oh. I'm telling you something, when I get grandma's recipe, if I can figure it out, I will make it. She used to roll those butter cookies out and roll it with a rolling pin. I, for the life of me, I can't find the recipe. She used to put nuts over it, oh, it was so yummy. So maybe we'll find that recipe and I'll make it for you, you know, hopefully in the next, you know, couple of weeks or whatever. From Deborah Way's Home Country Kitchen, have a great day and please subscribe to my wonderful show.